So way back in the 1940s, the way most Americans got their news in a film or video format was in newsreels. They didn't get it through TV because while TV technically existed, virtually no one had it. So newsreels were short news segments designed to be aired before and in between motion pictures in your local theater. So you'd go to the theater to see a movie and they'd have commercials and newsreels and other things in between the features. So what you're about to see are the first newsreels that were targeted specifically to propagandize black America. Now there was a lot of propaganda films the US government was putting out back then to encourage you know, patriotism and participation in like war bond efforts and whatnot, but these are the first ones that were targeted specifically to black America. So these, which you're about to watch is a, an example of those, and I find them fascinating just because we're seeing a, a part of black America really of America that we don't normally get to see. So I hope you enjoy them and please like and share. That's a really big deal for a small YouTuber like me. And thank you guys. Love you very much. God bless. All American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. her mother in their New York home. This chest of precious silver was sent Miss Rice by soldiers on the Burma sector. The mother is equally beautiful. Harriet's picture on a magazine cover made a hit with the boys in Burma. And why not? She is very photogenic. Certainly a lovely pinup girl. Waves are now helping in hospitals as shown here at the Naval Base in Bethesda, Maryland. The course is intensive. They learn the ordinary rudiments, thus relieving trained nurses of much work. The medical corps of both the Navy and Army have great need for young women for this branch of service, both at home and abroad. There is a trick to making a bed so that it'll be comfortable for the patient. These girls are eager to learn for they know their tasks are important. Ready to take their places, helping nurse our many wounded men and ease their worry and pain. Noble women doing a hard job and serving their country in time of need. Officials and the whole staff of the Manufacturer's Screw Products Company are assembled. Officers of the Chicago Red Cross open the rally to kick off in the fun drive. <laughs> Reverend Ivory Blackman, a pastor and plant worker, speaks to aroused enthusiasm. Reverend Blackman looks after his church by day, but does a war job by night. president of the company also talks. This united support of the Red Cross Drive is typical of what is taking place throughout the country, with Mr. and Mrs. America determined to keep the Red Cross by the side of our fighting men. Can you tell us something of your new assignment in the State Department and your reaction to it? In this office, we are concerned with all of the problems relating to the proposed new international organization.
We had the privilege of assisting at the Dumbarton Oaks conversation, and we are now completely absorbed in the preparations for the Conference of the United Nations at San Francisco, which will convene on April 25th, with the purpose of achieving agreement on the proposed new international security organization. This conference clearly is of the utmost importance to all of the peoples of the world, of whatever race, color, or creed. I spent two and a half years in the Office of Strategic Services before my appointment to the State Department, first as a social science analyst, and later as chief of the Africa section. Brigadier General Benjamin O. Davis arrived. He made a complete inspection tour despite the weather. These scenes are in Belgium, but he also visited the fronts in France, Luxembourg, Holland, and Germany. Arriving at unit headquarters, he looked over everything that had to do with Negro troops. His main purpose was to assist officers with their problems and to stimulate morale among the men. General Davis was pleased with conditions and with the fighting spirit of the men on all fronts. He is tireless in his work and is doing a tremendous job. <laughs> 